Hello beauties! Welcome Libra! This is your general reading for the rest of the month of August. I welcome you back if you are my subscribers. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Love you to the moon and back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Donna and I'm so glad to have you with me. Let's Libra, what's the overall energy here? Oh goodness! Okay, all that glitters is not gold. So somebody around you is wearing a mask, okay? I think you know that. You know, Libra, you guys are really balanced. You just get those vibes. You get that that energy about you. Yang energy, okay. Looks like it could be a masculine energy who's making a very, very intense approach towards you. But we'll see. One card never defines a reading. It's just kind of a, it's a fabric. You know, it's like a tapestry. The fates, okay. So someone here is meant to come into your life or is brought into your life for some specific reason we are about to find out <laughs> all right libra let's take a look and see what's going on how have you been let me know in the comments below i really am looking for some new ideas i liked i'm thinking about doing healing some healing videos i'm thinking about doing some lives I'm thinking about, you know, focusing on life at a larger scale than just love in the readings. So if you'd like something, let me know below. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy. Oh, a reunion. Look at that. Scorpio energy. The energy of someone that you've known a long time. Someone that you have great loyalty for. They have great loyalty for you. Someone who may come back into your life who um, wants to spend their life with you. They want to grow old with you. Very sweet, nostalgic energy is the overall for you, Libra. I'm going to put that right there because these cards will all play out in a different way probably. All right, so let's see. So the current situation that you're in right now, Four of Cups. Kind of a little bit bored here. You know, that's when we're we're just sort of like, what is going to happen today? It's sort of a defensive energy in its own way. She looks like she's exhausted, right, in this picture. Four of Cups is Cancerian energy. You know, I think we've really been through it. All of us as a collective have been through it. Oh, I like this. Look at you. I love this hanged man because we have the messages. Are You're looking at the messages spirit sending you. You're in a relaxed state. This reminds me of when I was a child. I used to like to hang upside down on the monkey bars and just meditate, but I didn't know what it was at that point. But you're, you know, as much as you don't like what's going on or you feel bored or tired, um, you are in a, you're spending time alone, quality time alone. You're really coming up with answers. You're coming in with this beautiful energy. I always think this looks very have you ever heard of Cirque du Soleil? Um, like, it was so relaxed in, in a position that isn't wouldn't normally be relaxing for most people. But you're hanging out. You know, you're, you're chilling. And you're receiving a lot of messages right now. Let's see. We have Ace of Cups, Libra. New love. You're feeling some love for somebody. You have some anxiety because you've been through it. Ah, okay. So, you know, you're in a period of time in your life when you probably are not just ready to trust anybody right away. Even if you've known them a while, there is a an energy here of just your heart is open. It's very tender. It's almost like you're looking here sort of like, okay, bring it on, but I'm not sure I'm ready. It's kind of a mixed energy for you here. Let's see what we have here. In the shuffle, we have nine of wands. Yeah, that makes sense. You feel defensive. You know, you have fire in your belly. You're willing to do the work. Sagittarius energy, water energy, Pisces energy. So you're very much in your feels right now, but you are this defensive card is Sagittarius energy. So let's see what is going on right now. What are the what's a highlight here right now? Oh, Libra. That is a hell of a good highlight. <laughs> The star card is, when we look at the star card, she's looking to the stars. She's holding on to her dreams. 
She's meditating again, a lot of meditation energy here. Focus very much on your hopes and dreams, your wish fulfillment, and the star card, the very meaning of the star card, Libra. It's hopes and dreams for love coming true. But anything that you love, it's not about romance only. It's about that which you hold closest, nearest, and dearest to your heart. This is an outcome card when we look at the Celtic. This is the best that can happen, and it's the best card in the deck. So I am here to tell you that your life is unfolding in a very beautiful way. In the near future, we have six of coins. That's Taurus energy. Exchanging value with another, giving to a situation. Let's see. How are you? Oh, look at you having fun. You're having fun. This is a Nine of Cups card. Pisces energy. It's usually being out with friends. It's a card of community. It's a card of eat, drink, and be merry. It's really, it's the same as this Pisces energy here when we look at the hanged man. Pisces, you know, you're just taking, it's a day at a time. It's I'm going to live in the moment. It's a very important card. One more cup and it's like happily ever after kinds of love. So it does show that you are able to, even if you're in sort of a mood, even if you're feeling defensive, you are so open. Your heart is open. Look at her heart chakra just bursting forward. And it's with friends and family and community. And you have so much to be grateful for. And you are counting your blessings blessings while paying attention. You know, you're not forgetting the past, but you're moving forward boldly, beautifully. Oh, look at ah. <laughs> The circumstances around you are bringing a victory, Libra. I'm going to move the cards a little bit here. They kind of don't fit so well if I don't put them in a certain way. Okay, so that's card number seven. This is card number eight. Okay, so this is the circumstances around you, Libra. The circumstances around you, some of you are getting a promotion and you don't see it coming. Some of you, look. if you look at the Six of Wands card, it is Leo energy. We're in Leo season, so you might get an announcement or news really soon. We see the victory wreath. We see the torch, that, that fiery torch of energy that brought you to this victory. You're in the limelight. You're getting recognition. And you're accepting it beautifully. Your heart chakra is open. That's what I'm really seeing here. You're cautious, but your heart chakra is open. When we look closely at the card, you can't really see it on the camera so much, is that people are applauding. That's an audience. So you are getting recognition of a major victory that you have created. That's like when the warrior comes back home and receives the accolades they deserve. So it's bravery, it's fierceness, it's the ability to expand into the future and define your future. It's happiness. And see, this is almost like a party. Yeah, you know, it would be like, I'm at the Academy Awards and, well, you know, I, I had a good year. I, I won one. You know, I won editing for best film. I made the best short. I made a feature film. And the party is going on before you even get to this energy. There's a celebration. Oh, we see the high priestess following your intuition, Cancerian energy. I have to say something, Libra, you're very psychic. You probably have some cancer in your chart, but we all have cancer in our chart because, you know, we all do. But what we get here is that when you listen to your intuition, Piscean energy, Cancerian energy, when we listen to our energy, you may appear to have your eyes closed. But when you look at this very, uh, from a, this is sort of like from a different angle, you have your eyes wide open. But you have your ability right now. You are at an intuitive peak in your life. You really know the score. You know what's going on. Let's bring this right around here and see what your outcome is. <gasps> Two of Cups. Whoa. Okay, Libra. Two of Cups is a an early part of finding a soulmate. It is relationship energy. But as a general reading... You have a lot going on here. For some of you, you've unveiled a deception. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards over here. 
let's look and see what all that glitters is not gold. What does that mean? I don't, I feel like you're moving way past this. I feel that this is very much in the past. You seem to have mastered it. Why is the fake card here? Judgment. Yep. See, I knew it. You've already judged this person. You've already discovered this. This is an, it, I don't think it's a super old wound, but I feel as though you understand and have passed, passed judgment on somebody. Yep, here we go. We have betrayal. Somebody who wants to come back. So that makes sense. There's a reunion card here. You know, you're not going to let them. That's what I'm seeing. You're not going to let them. It's over. You know, you're healed. Whatever this person did. Uh, the sad thing is, is that this looks like somebody you'd known a long time. Again, it could be friendship, it could be a childhood friend, it could be, you know, it could be a family member, but you do make amends with this person. It does look like it could be, uh, it, for many of you, it's going to be family. Ten of Coins is a legacy, somebody that you've known a long time. But you, it's like you're going to forgive but not forget. Okay, so let's see what the Yang energy is, Seven of Coins. Somebody wants to build something with you. Well, this is also the energy. Gemini is going to be in uh, Mars, the planet of action. Aries energy, the new beginnings, the fierce warrior, the sharp end of the spear. You are building something new. So when we get this energy, yang energy is uh, masculine, outward energy. It's you being really active. Mars is masculine energy and you're building something look at that seven of coins this to me is in today's lingo on the internet really means that you're building a an income that's passive you don't want to have to be there to constantly nurture the garden but you're going to build this. You're building passive income. You're up in your head about it. So for those of you who haven't started yet, you may be searching for answers on how to do this. But Nine of Swords says that you have some worries. You're trying to secure your future. And look at that. You're all oh, movement of cops. Many of you, if you do what you love, you can go on Instagram. You can go on any number, in num any number of places. Movement of Cups is a night of cups. That's you being fearful and nervous, but moving forward very quickly with a lot of energy. Eight of Wands, passionate energy. Two of Cups, maybe some of you want to write a book about loves. Maybe some of you want to be YouTubers. But what we see here is the energy that really speaks to the speaks to the original card here, the Eight of Cups. You may take the lead in a new relationship. Look at Two of Cups, Two of Cups. That is not a minor thing. I don't feel that these cards are connected. This looks like a family member, somebody you had a falling out with, somebody you've known since childhood. It could be a childhood friend who feels like family. But when we look at this card, which I'm reading very separately, is that another issue going on in your life is that somebody is in hot pursuit of a relationship. I do think that many of you are being very hyper vigilant, very hyper cautious. You're nervous because of this recent sort of situation. Um, you might be having a little bit of trouble uh, trusting your intuition with these two cards. However, sweets, you're over here. You're powerful. Look at that. Somebody wants love with you. This is a soulmate energy, I have to tell you. A soulmate of the Minor Arcana. The Two of Cups is typically in the Rider Waite. Looks like a bride and groom um, giving their cups of love to each other. Wide open. Two hearts beat as one. Look at this, a magician card. Gemini energy, oh my God, fates are bringing you an opportunity to shine, to create, to create your own magic. That is Gemini and Virgo energy. So you have the communication, you have the ability to plan. Gemini is a thinker. You have the ability, this is something you know. Look at the cup of love, we've got the wands, we have the pentacles and the swords. So you have the heart, you have the uh, fire to do this. You are going to manifest something very solid in your life. You have the uh, the intellectual tools to create here. Gemini, the, this is Gemini Virgo. Gemini creates a plan, comes up with an idea, comes up with the ad campaign. And Virgo energy actually creates it. The strength card. <gasps> 
strength, strength. You have mastered your inner being. You are setting out. This is infinity and beyond. Oh my, wow. Libra, Libra. I don't think I've ever had a reading for you that I loved more than this one. When we look at this energy of the strength, it is it is a major arcana of Leo. And look at what it leads to. This passion, this commitment, this development is leading right over here to a victory. You are absolutely fabulous. And if you were ever around in the 90s, you know that there's a very funny TV show from Britain called Ab Fab. But I digress. You know, my I'm a Gemini. My, my mind goes all over the place. Okay. Stick into the reading. Four of Cups. Why is it here, Gemini? The Hanged Man reversed. Okay. So you have come to conclusions about other people and you really know the truth you know the score so you're not nobody you know you feel as though somebody hung you out to dry or they just disappointed you in a way i feel very confident with this energy of the sacred heart this is somebody who you love deeply you're not going to give up the relationship especially if it's familial but you're cautious you know you're not going to put up with the shenanigans in the future ah uh, maybe a mother <laughs> Maybe a mother energy for some of you or somebody that you think of as nurturing energy. But actually, this is your empress. You know, you're letting everybody else be who they are. And you're just, you're maintaining a beautiful energy of manifestation. Wow. Earth mother energy just really being grounded. Taurus energy. But Taurus energy is everything that you adore and everything that you value. You're manifesting it with the Empress card. You're, and you're doing it. You're letting this Yang energy is coming to you. You're allowing people to uh, do their own thing. Yeah, you've gone through a healing process, a death and rebirth. The Seven of Wands says that whatever situation this was, that you're going to be cautious as you go forward. The Spirit of Pentacles, King of Pentacles energy. Could be a mother and father. There's a lot of Taurus energy that like stuck energy. Sometimes the example I would give over this kind of energy is when parents want to have say about something that really isn't their business. Like for instance, who you marry or who you love. So leave it in the comments below how this is playing out for you. The hanged man crossing your energy puts you in a very spiritual, you know, receptive receptivity that is look at helps you just close out the cycle you're closing out the cycle you know you're like okay I really love my family and you know they're going to be with me forever and I really wouldn't want a different family but I mean, I'm not going to take all of their advice <gasps> darn it okay the ace of cups you have love in your heart six of wands victory oh my god six of wands all right i'm gonna say something here some of you may be working on this is going to be only for maybe one of you or two of you some of you have a creative project that's going on that involves love it could be the love of work it could be the love of anything but i think that some of you may be writing a novel or a book or doing a podcast or, you know, some sort of vlog that that involves talking about love. And while it's happening, you're falling in love. Oh, wow. Okay. Have you ever seen Esther Perel? She is an expert counselor. She's a therapist who helps couples heal their wounds. So it could be anything about the heart, even if you're a heart doctor, but you have a victory. There's recognition. I just love this. Okay. We have the full card. Ah, you're off to a new beginning. The yang energy is taking you out of this defensive energy into just being delighted and playful and joyful and throwing caution to the winds and taking the leap of faith and look at, I don't know what you've done to your hair lately, Libra, but you are looking fine as wine. You are looking unusual and beautiful and eccentric in the loveliest of ways. We have the eight of coins. You're just, you're, you're doing you. You're doing you, boo. Look at you as you heal, as you move forward. You have absolute clarity about what you want. The ace of swords, your, your true, your, your purpose is very clear to you. You know what you're investing in and you're, you're gaining the people around you to move forward in a very powerful way. You're putting together a team, uh, 
many of you are doing spiritual work of some nature or another, helping people heal, but oh, wow. Three of coins is a team. That's a beginning also of a couple when you first come into being. It's the two of you are working together. When we look at astrology, because I am uh, an astrologer, we look at what we call the combined chart. And so it's like the two energies of the two different people meeting at the midway point in all the numerical designations to create a third chart, which is the relationship chart. And that's what I get as an energy for you. It looks as though you're you're staying very Aquarius energy allows you to stay very focused on your spiritual mission and your truth the devil card six of coins so there is something going on here about equal give and take tell us about that devil card somebody's holding back while you give what is what's being held back from Libra a choice okay so for some of you you might be in a situation where someone's not committing even though you're saying, hey, I put my money on the table, it's time for you to do the same, and this person has not done it. Queen of Pentacles energy. Somebody is holding back here. So if you're looking at partnership and business, be very careful. Don't overinvest. Let other people step up to the table. The devil card is very controlling energy. My cautionary note here is do not let anybody a hijack any project that you have ten of wands let go of any energy here that comes in and doesn't give equally <clears throat> to a relationship six of <laughs> you cannot i spirit talks to us so strongly look at we started out with the six of pentacles we went through the process of talking about somebody who wants to control you somebody who is wanting to take unfair advantage of a situation with you. They haven't really uh, made a full decision. They're at a crossroads. They're not as committed as you are. It is somebody who is uh, Capricorn energy, probably or Taurus energy. Capricorn, though, is a true queen of pentacles. And so this person is holding back uh, Saturn kind of, like, oh, I don't know if I like all these ideas, and I don't know if I'm safe. Ten of Wands, you let them go. You just say, hey, cool. I'm okay with that. You know, if it's not for you, it's not for you. And look at this. You let them go, and immediately somebody comes in to give you back, to give back to you with Taurus energy. So when we look at Capricorn energy, we are looking at Saturn. The Devil card is also Capricorn energy and Saturn. So what we're seeing here is you're releasing something. Good for you. Good for you. In business, we have to really know, you know, we have to know the score and you know the score. Nine of Cups energy, High Priestess. You are in this beautiful, loving, sweet, kind, nurturing energy. Twice. You intuitively know that life is at a beautiful place for you. Five of coins, you are healing. You're celebrating life. You're counting your blessings. You know, you're aware of your losses. We all are. It's not like anybody is suggesting to you that life is perfect. But what we get here is that you're actually celebrating the fact that somebody left you in the cold. Somebody is, you know, made a threat. They left you in the cold. And it really relates to somebody who was dishonest with you. So it's sort of like when we lose dishonest people, and this won't be for everybody, remember, general readings are like a buffet table. You only take the cards and interpretations that are yours. But for some of you who actually decided to terminate whatever relationship this was where there was dishonesty, you're like, you know, rejection is protection. Yay! <laughs> Oh, and the five of coins to the six of coins. Look at that. Look at you, Libra. I want to know what is going on in your life. This is the most exceptional reading. I'm going to call it that, the most exceptional reading. Knight of Swords, you're moving very quickly. You're moving swiftly towards that which you desire, Gemini energy. The Six of Wands, tell us, Spirit, about the Six of Wands. Oh, you're in your feels. <gasps> you are so tapped into your emotions. You're being reborn emotionally with that rebirth of your emotions, with the release of your emotions. You can see, see this beautiful whale lunging up out of the water in a celebratory dance. We can see that opening of the heart chakra. It's actually surprising you. It's coming up as 
shock and awe. I also feel that whatever is has happened here for which you are getting recognition and um, this beautiful energy is coming as a complete surprise. Ten of Cups. The Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Happily ever after energy. It does come out of the blue, though. The Tower card is not always a bad card. The Tower card really means it's more of an energetic card in that whatever you thought was the case is not the case. But when we look conversely at that, that can be good things. It's like, oh my God, I never expected to win this award. I've been asked to do a TED Talk. I've been asked to, you know, talk talk about love. I've been asked to, you know, to open myself up to this and I'm dancing on top of the, you know, on top of my bed at night. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm singing in the shower. I'm joyful because I never saw this coming. My foundation is really changing and I have this beautiful 10 of cups, a new beginning for my, something that I have passion for, something that lights my fire, baby. The Empress card, Six of Cups. So your desire is to have someone return in your life. Six of Cups, Six of Cups. So I'm going to go over here and look at the Six of Cups here. Somebody that you secretly desire. Somebody, oh, look at the Four of Cups here. Four of Cups is repeating itself. Somebody that you haven't heard from. So you do have a secret desire to come back together with somebody. Heart of Swords, Queen of Swords means that Again, you're not going to forget, forget, but you do want to make amends or heal a relationship when the time is right, when this person understands, you've taught the lesson that they, you know, any repetition, you have the star card again, star card. So for many of you, this is a cycle that's going to bring you fame, fortune. I mean, it could literally do that, but it's a time in your life when you're in the energy of being very clever, very smart. Nobody can get anything by you, but you really want communication. Yeah, your fear here is somebody who did lie to you. So we're getting this energy sort of expanding over here. But you're stable. Movement of Pentacles. You're stable. You're moving slowly forward in a very practical way uh, to a level of forgiveness. Forgiveness For some of you, it could be a child. For some of you, it's somebody you know, who maybe took advantage, you know, monetarily, but you're really in this lovely energy of wanting to heal. It was somebody significant. Um, let's see what the Two of Cups is. Heart of Wands, Queen of Wands, fiery, passionate, beautiful. You are looking great. You are feeling great. As we close out this reading, Libra, oh my God, the Spirit of Wands. King of, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, you are coming in. There's a lot going on, Libra. I'm getting that you are healing an old wound with somebody you love dearly for something that they did. It could even, you know, it could be somebody close to you who you loaned money to and you found out that they bought something very expensive and didn't pay you back. It could be as simple as that. You're not really having it. They will pay you back. Here's a good thing. I'm getting, and even here we got, um, we had the six of coins twice. So there's sort of one thread in this is I think the repayment of money that should have already happened but didn't because somebody has a, a problem. The other energy that I get is that you are early in a relationship and you're a little bit guarded, but it looks like you're really in a beautiful, fantastic energy. It's being reciprocated because we got two sixes here. So you are getting uh, reciprocity. You do have a victory in love. You do have an exciting new beginning. I also see uh, career wealth abundance coming through for you and in the process of creating this beautiful abundant relationship um, with the fire signs. This can also be an engagement um, and it, see, it shows that it's coming out of the blue. So somebody who might have been holding back is really giving forward, paying it forward, giving a lot now that they didn't give before. I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of love oracle messages here. But Libra, you have three storylines that are beautiful, beautiful, and you really have it together. That star card, you are so solid. I love this reading for you. Retreat, sure. That's what I get for you. You know, taking time alone to recharge. 
really smart energy. When you don't know what to do, don't do anything. Contemplate, meditate, let spirit help you. We have new love. That's what I said. Oh my God, I love it. Uh, a new love is developing. And one more card here. Stability. There we go. Fixed signs. When we get Lib we get the Leo King, we get Leo energy, we get Scorpio love. Those are fixed signs. Till death do us part. Happiness, joy. Libra. Mwah, sending you so much love. Send some back. Tell me what the heck is going on here in your personal lives. Hey, like, subscribe, shares, comments, help push this video out for other people. It's really necessary for YouTube to really push the channel out. So thank you so much. Bye Libra.